So hey, wanted to talk to you about the Decine Mission Photo. Not really 100% a, um, you know, like a snowboarding pack, but it does have a skate carry that can also be a snowboard carry. And um, it also has a pretty minimal profile for a camera pack. Um, you can see here it's got a nice um, thick material. The material doesn't feel super rugged, but it also feels really smooth like it's not going to catch on stuff. Uh, and I like that. So here you can see the side profile. Uh, it's not very wide for a camera pack. There are a lot of camera packs that I think this is only um, something like six inches wide, where most are like out to here. You feel like you're carrying a little human inside there, where this isn't that way. So you open this up. There's lots of room for all kinds of stuff in there. Obviously, the camera that's filming this video review normally sits right here, the camcorder. Um, you can pull this out, and you've got your own separate carrying case, and it's got straps, and it's got a handle. Uh, so that's kind of cool, but it's not super big. But I'm not carrying, you know, as you can tell from the quality of the videos on the site, uh, this isn't, you know, uber super photo time. Um, this is just, you know, for posting on YouTube and Vimeo kind of backpacks um, that can handle a little bit of professional equipment. Um, I like the way this fits and feels. I like that compartment. There's also a small compartment here that um, goes to the almost to the bottom, stops about right there and then goes to the bottom. There's a nice little compartment here. Uh, for like a, um, you know, a small laptop, but mainly like an iPad or a tablet. And then um, up top here, I like this. There's another padded compartment that can fit, you know, like a couple like Dekine cubes in there um, that I like for bringing extra camera equipment that I'd like to be protected. And so you've got, you know, kind of three compartments. You've got a good backpack, uh, backside. Uh, it's got a nice backside. Um, it's got this nice little padding up here that just kind of fits right there. Um, it's got a little lower padding. This is a real soft material. You've got a nice waist harness, uh, so you can snowboard with it, and it does hold to your back pretty well. However, I do hate snowboarding with backpacks, um, especially ones these bulky just don't like the way it feels. Um, however, it's still very doable. Um, you know, these things click well. It's just got a good all-around feel. Um, you know, it's got a chest harness, of course. And then you've got pockets on the side. There's one pocket that folds out to a um, water or whiskey bottle carrier. And then the other side has two kind of pockets that I just never find a use for, but I'm sure somebody else could. Uh, just two small pockets here. I would have rather have seen, um, if they're gonna do this kind of thing, one complaint about this is I just never have a real good place to put my monopod. So I'm always kind of just like jerry-rigging it, you know, like I shove it down in here and then close it. Um, that way there's still some padding between all the camera equipment and this and some padding here uh, between the outer world. Um, but, you know, instead of those two little random pockets, I would have loved to have seen like a really, like a nice designated tripod, monopod carrying case right here. Um, however, this is the backpack I'm using because, um, you know, there really isn't much else out there. I tried the, um, I believe it's the Burton F-Stop, it's their smallest one, and it just didn't quite have the, um, the feel that these do. And so, you know, take this for what it is. I'm not a camera expert. I'm a snowboarder who's looking to carry some cameras around with him as he travels. And uh, this pack does a pretty good job for that. Um, I really liked um, Low Pro too, but Low Pro just um, didn't quite fit my new bigger camcorder. So that was kind of a bummer because I liked their pocket system. It felt a little more intuitive. However, this is great and I like the brand Dekine. I'd rather have Dekine 
than uh, low pro because you know that's the industry I'm in.